Geeky greetings everybody, I'm Foxy K and in this short vlog I want to tell you what's been going on the last year and a half and I'll tell you, that's last year. I'm so sorry. So, if I look horrible it is because I feel horrible, simple as that. Um, let me just line up what was happening because this channel isn't dead, it's just have an idea, so you could say. Um, I made a short video in last year's February where I told you that my mom was sick. But it all started way before, like in the end of August, okay, here, uh, end of August 2018, where one of my colleagues got a slipped disc and really nasty, and she needed some surgery. And so from one day to the next, I didn't just double my hour at work, I tripled them. So instead of working 10 hours a week, I was up to 30 hours a week. And it was kind of stressful, I have to tell you. But there's a good side on it now, in the end of October to the beginning of November, it was clear that my colleague won't return so soon. I got a new contract with 20 hours a week, so it's a real part-time job now with insurance and everything. Oh, that's a good side of it all, but still, a lot of work, a lot of work to accommodate to, and as you might know, me as a biologist, I, I'm not that fond of my job that I'm doing as a cashier at the moment, but it's the best I could find, so I cope with it. And then my mom got an infection in February 2019, and nobody could really tell what it was, and she returned after a month. But it was kind of weak, and I took more responsibilities in the household and tried to help her, and still tried to get my way around with more of work hours. And but it was fine; it was getting better till summer. It was really great. I was much better. I had big plans for my channel. I was very motivated with everything. I was cleaning up my stuff. I was rearranging furniture. I used my Christmas bonus that I got for getting a new PC, so I won't have any kind of trouble with my old PC with rendering the videos. It was great and amazing, and I even cleaned up some boxes. <laughs> it was, was stacked up in a corner since my teenage years when I first lived in these rooms. And yeah, I got a plan that on the 5th of February, the, like the anniversary of my channel, I'm big reveal and everything new and, yeah. and then everything got worse like really really worse in this case um my mom collapsed so i will tell you if you don't know i think i mentioned it some vlog or another but i explained explain to you again now, um, my mom is fighting cancer for almost 10 years by now with five kind of really major surgeries and the last one was in November 2017 <laughs> Sorry. 2017 where uh, almost half her liver has to be removed because of a tumor growing in there and uh, this was always like this, this waiting and fearing if we return or not. And on December the 22nd, my mom collapsed in the kitchen. And she was really pale and really weak. And for a couple of days we tried to let her recover at home. But um, it didn't help. And on the December the 25th, I called the ambulance to take her to hospital. A lot of examinations later, yeah, that monster cancer is back again. It's, um, she got several small metastases on her lungs up to her collarbone, and there's one big lump the size of a tennis ball growing on her liver, and even with all the examinations done in weeks, no one could tell if it's just weirdly regrowing liver tissue or it's in a tumor and it's also lying against the pancreas and 
no one could say what else cutting my mom open if it just lies again or is invading the pancreas. So it could be a new really big, really big tumor or just some weird lump. No one can tell. But the cancer is not the worst in this case. Um, her liver, her pancreas and her kidneys are too far gone. Yeah, too damaged from all the surgeries, all the medication, and admittedly her age, is, she's almost 18. And there's no cure, no nothing, no one can help her anymore. She could make a shamer therapy, but only to like um, slowing the growth kind of stuff, but no, not real, there's no treatment anymore. And she just can't use a new lung on someone almost 80 with that. Kind of problems with liver and kidney and pancreas so that's really bad news and on january the 28th or 29th my mom came home for the last time you could say and now i'm taking care of her and uh, she's so weak that she can't walk anymore on really bad days she needs my assistance to even stand up and I wash her, I brush her teeth, I help her get dressed, and I help her go potty, I put her to bed, or help her get a comfortable position in her favorite chair. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's about far 45 to 50 hours a week, and even at night we got a little house alarm thingy over here, and she can call me whenever. And it's, everybody knows it's not getting better, that's the pet news about it. And it's not easy. And on the other hand, there's my dad. My almost blind, quite deaf father, who had started over the last past couple of years to get more and more the symptoms of dementia. And uh, it hits him um, again and again that my mom will gonna die. Like, um, the train on full speed and then she just blanks it out and moves on like nothing has happened and then it hits him again and that's so I try to spend time with my dad and there's also all the housekeeping to do the grocery, the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry, the ironing the cleaning, like anything you have to do in an old house I mean it's one of the reasons why I moved in a couple of years ago six or seven years ago uh, I couldn't find a real job, and uh, I said, I don't have money, but I have the time to help my parents. So uh, here I am in this old house, in my old bedroom, a um, huge, huge yard is waiting for us, and, yeah, and uh, on top of all that, which is enough, um, i got to go to work, so I'm a little bit stressed at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of running on caffeine and whatever my, my body is, is producing on its own. I don't even know. And I, I try to cope with the situation. I try to be there for everybody. And yeah. But I haven't forgot this channel. It's a thing. I really love making videos. I really love being creative. But I just don't know when. At the moment I don't know when. So I want to make this update. So don't... <laughs> Don't, don't run away from this channel. There will be more content, there will be more games. I promise you that. I just have to figure out what this year is going to throw at me again. As I said, I have really big ideas and good ideas. and I want to make it happen, but I don't know when. I, as you can see, I can barely sleep. <sighs> that will be a really, really fucking tough year for me. But I've lived, it's, have to live through it. I mean, it's something. The fact that your parents will gonna die, it's like a looming mountain in the distance. And you say, one day I have to conquer it. And now I'm standing in front of the first boulders. And no one can tell anything. No one can tell how long I'm gonna live. It could be a couple of months, it could be up to two years. On a good day, I think, yeah, hell yeah, she's gonna see him as a Christmas on the bed. I don't know if I should wish her to see the summer again. That's the thing. And it's also with my dad. No one can tell if my dad will cope with the situation or if he just like follow her on a broken heart. No one can tell. 
That's tough at the moment. Yeah. So, this is a vlog to tell you what is going on in the moon, and I think you could see from the usual Let's Plays and how I look at the moment. It isn't easy at the moment. Um, I try now and again to make a vlog or an update or something like that. And to all my friends out there, I'm really sorry. I don't call, I don't write, I know, but I don't know when. Really, please be patient. We'll meet again. I'll come visit you sooner or later, I promise. And everything is going to be fine. Okay. So, that is the thing, that is the situation. If you got any kind of wishes what I should play for you or anything, or any ideas for my channel itself, please be feel free to write it down in the comments, I will read it. <laughs> there aren't that many subscribers now that I can't read any comments, so please write it down. And yeah, that's it. It's a different bedroom, different camera, different everything, different me. Kind of. I'll see you soon. Ciao.